Hi, Robert Anthony here for MacTuts Plus. Disk images inside of OS X are a great way to back up, archive, and or protect files and folders on your Mac. Disk images are just what they sound like, a virtual disk or storage device that you can create and then mount in order to access the files contained inside. Just like you mount a physical hard drive by plugging it into a USB, Firewire, or Thunderbolt port on your Mac. If you've ever downloaded and installed an application from the internet on your Mac, then you have used a disk image. Let's look at the basic ways to create and use disk images. You can create disk images using the disk utility found inside of Macintosh hard drive, Applications, Utilities. To create a disk image, you use the New Image button or the menu bar to select an option to create a disk image. You can also create a blank disk image or create a disk image from a folder. If you want to create a disk image of an entire hard drive or partition on a hard drive, click and select the drive you want to use and click the New Image button. You can name the disk image as well as specify where you want to save it. Under Image Format, you can choose Compressed to create a smaller sized disk image, but keep in mind, it'll take a little longer to open it as it needs to uncompress the data. Read Only will make a disk image that will open quicker, but the size of the disk image will be a bit larger. Read Write will allow you to add files to the disk image after it's been created if you wish to use the disk image for storage, archival, or organization. If you want to password protect the disk image, you can select an encryption method and enter a password when prompted. You can also create a disk image of a CD or DVD. This is a great way to back up your disks. Simply select the disk from the list in the left and click New Image. Also, because the disk image is being read from the hard drive as opposed to the CD-ROM drive, if it's an installer, the installer process will be much quicker. This is good if it's something you may have to install on a regular basis or install on multiple computers. If you want to create a disk image for a specific folder, you can go to File, New, Disk Image from Folder. Select the folder you want to create a disk image of, and you're again presented with the same options window. Finally, if you want to create a disk image that you can use to store files, say for password protecting sensitive information, you can create a blank disk image and password protect it. When you select Make New Blank Disk Image, you have a few more options than the previous ways. Most notably, you can determine the size of the disk image as well as determine if you want it to be a sparse disk image, which will automatically expand its size as you add files to it. Whichever way you create a disk image, once it's complete, you will see the .dmg file appear on the desktop, and the disk will automatically mount. It will have an icon that looks like a disk drive, much like the physical hard drives plugged into your Mac. Disk images are a great way to back up CDs or DVD-ROMs, or to password protect sensitive files. Using disk images can save you a lot of time and trouble should you ever need a backup of a lost disk. Using them as organizational tools will also help you stay on top of managing files. I hope this helps you feel more comfortable using disk images in your day-to-day -day workflow. This is Robert Anthony from MacTuts Plus. Thanks for watching.